Marsha Reif is a very caring and compassionate person. She has dedicated her life to taking care of the needs of others. She is a tremendous asset to our district, but most importantly, the students at East Carter High School. Marsha's biggest asset would be her compassion. Uh, she cares so much about the students and the staff and the faculty here at East Carter High School and in our district and in our community, from taking students to the dentist, to getting haircuts, to buying them things, to making sure they have food on the weekend. Uh, she is definitely a person that exhibits the characteristics of being a friend, and we're very proud of her. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Miss Marsha Reif. If you walked in uh, to Marsha's classroom, uh, you would have a hard time figuring out who the teacher was and who the instructional aide was. Marsha exemplifies our school's uh, greater R's, which are respectful, res resourceful, responsible, reliable, and ready. She doesn't consider her job to be a 8 o'clock to 3 o'clock job. She is a 24-7 employee and just a, a very, very, very caring individual that has many of the same traits that Fred Shea has in the Fred Factor. She's helped so many of our students. Um, students who talk about dropping out, she'll go over and talk to them, lend them an ear and help them and persuade them not to drop out. Um, any of our students who are falling behind, if they need a pencil or a paper, anything like that, she'll give it to them, a snack, anything. So everybody in the whole building benefits from what she does for us. Kids that need anything, adults that need anything, Marsha will take from her personal funds and see to it that they have it. She helps in her church. She just, she's just an outstanding person in the community as well as at home. She takes care of her family and she treated, like I said, Cortland and Andrew, my children, she treated like her own. Marsha pushed her and would not let Cortland be lazy. She wanted her to succeed and wanted her to accomplish. So she wanted Cortland to be proud of herself as well as others be proud. And Cortland graduated with highest honors, so, and that was a huge accomplishment. Marsha has helped me. Uh, my house burnt down, and I had no clothes for uh, homecoming. So she went out of her way to get me a shirt and a tie. And I had everything else, but she got me a shirt and tie and I've, she's helped me pass multiple classes. She's helped my friend Tyler Meeks pass multiple classes. She's helped a lot of kids pass. She's make sure, she's like a mother figure to us all and she's trying to help us graduate. <laughs> I try to put myself in their shoes. Just always want them to know I'm there for them and help them and hopefully make a difference and let them see that they can overcome obstacles and becomes something and I always tell them I expect to hear great things from them so and I never do anything for any kind of a recognition. Well, I just really enjoy what I do. Um, I have come in contact with some great people. Um, I, I love being there for them. Uh, they feel like my own. To make a difference and um, to let the students know that there's more out there and um, that I want them to know that I believe in them and that because I want them to believe in themselves and if they do that then they will more than likely you know achieve great things. Like I said they're like my children so I just feel blessed and I want the best for them. <laughs>